Good morning, everybody. I'm gonna wait another minute. Yeah, one more minute. Remember always to breathe. And remember, the only one of the differences between us and other creatures is that we can have choices and we can get to choose. Today, choose to breathe with your nose and breathe out with your mouth. I guess we're good with the time. Yes. Good morning, everybody. I'm Dr. Mariam Bakhtiari here from Manhattan Beach, California. Today I won't be having Natalie here and we're here to talk about an invention that I created a few years ago called Bella Lip Appliance, BLA Fit device. It's a device that works out your facial muscles, tones out your uh, facial um, structure, tightens your skin and lifts at the same time, it has other benefits that we may be able to just touch bases on um, just closely. It has two arms. We've calculated this maximum opening that we, as a dentist who treats TMJ, I want my patients to be able to do. And we have this resistant arm, uh, a circular area where it's like weight that you're doing. It's a weight lifting um, in your facial structure it is um, a perfect weight that gets you started. Um, it's good for at least a year to two. Um, as you get better and better with the workout, you just have to do it slower and slower to create that more resistance to it. Um, as a dentist, for the last 29 years, my practice has been limited to orthodontics, um, TMJ, and sleep apnea. And TMJ is my passion thing to do in my office. In my practice, I see private patients um, that have jaw issues, headaches, um, movement disorders, um, ringing in their ears, ear pain, um, migraine, and as well as patients with sleep apnea. And one of the things that I have in every room, and I wanna start with that because that's like really critical for you as a viewer to see where all this thought process comes in is this picture. And I've shown this probably hundreds of times in um, social media. It's the fact that the lower jaw, where it sits in accordance to the top jaw, is very crucial because we've got the major blood supply, nerve and artery that pass in that little region between the ear bone and the lower jaw and go and feed our brain, facial structure, our temporal region, back of the head, and the rest of our face. If the bite is off, which is off in majority of us, the bite is off and we are pushed back, we either have a posture of our lower jaw that's back and we're put pinching that circulation, it creates headaches. And when it creates headaches, and this area gets pinched, the brain or our central nervous system, which is in our brain, gets really worried that we're not surviving, we're not getting circulation to the head. And that's when it goes to what we call a sympathetic nervous activation. Sympathetic nervous activation, our body, our central nervous system, which is our brain, has two modes. The first mode is, um, sympathetic nervous system, which is the fight and flight. A lot of us heard if a lion comes attacking us, our heart starts palpating, our eyes starts dilating, we start drying up, our mouth starts drying up, and our heart rate increases. So that mode is okay for survival mode, but one cannot be in that mode all day long. 
So those of us that clench and grind our teeth all night and all day, you need to know that by doing that, you're pushing the jaw back and creating impingement in this location. And when that happens, we're cutting the circulation, creating a, a, a nervous, uh, basically, stimulation of um, our brain saying that I'm worried. That creates agitation, brain changes, anxiety, stress, and so on. One of the exercises, because I know all these fields, first of all, as an, somebody that treats patients with uh, their braces, how we look in this practice is not a traditional orthodontic practice. Very quickly, we look at the relationship between the lower jaw and the upper jaw. And if somebody has a chin that's back, we use orthopedic retainers to move it in the correct position so that we can open the circulation. So that's one of the most important thing that I look at when we're treating patients and children. So when I created Bella Lip Appliance, it was to create facial symmetry because it's an isometric exercise. It was to lift the cheekbones, the lips, make the lips plumper from underlying muscle, plumping it up, not the outer layer. And um, we learned through the last uh, two years of creating the Bella Lip Appliance is that patients that are not instructed by us don't know how to use it properly and benefit, get the benefits. I remember that one of the comments in our review was at Amazon that, oh, my jaw is hurting. This, that means they were not doing it correctly. I wish I knew the, the, that uh, person that made that review because I would, now we've added a five minute training. Um, if you buy a Bella Lip Appliance, especially today we have a 30% off promo um, for this next two hours, you will be trained by a, a trained staff or me because this region is very vascular. We cannot just put anything in our mouth and try to get these facial muscles worked out. It's a very, very sophisticated region. We need to be very careful. We need to be learned how to do it. It's like when you start a training um, of your weight loss training, you need to have a training trainer to teach you all of that. It's the same thing. As a specialist in this field, I want to be able to train you with my staff. We say five minutes, but it usually goes beyond uh, five minutes. But one of the exercises that I created that plumps up the lips actually um, treats the TMJ. So for those of you that ask me several times, is this creates, uh, makes my TMJ worse or better? This is actually a TMJ treatment, which will um, improve your TMJ if it's done correctly. So there's two exercises, the vertical exercise, and all both exercises are, um, conducted, uh, place the, the arms are these little arms, I call them, place on the lips. There's no heart tissue connection. We're always staying open and we're doing these exercises. So I'm not gonna go specifically to how to do the exercise, but I want to just really quick show you when we're doing the lip exercise and jaw um, contouring, Look what I'm doing with my lower jaw. I'm shifting the lower jaw forward, opening the blood supply to the brain and creating that opening, that relaxation for the brain, allowing the brain to feel like, ah, oh, now the circulatory system is not cut. I'm not supposed to be worried. There's oxygen, there's blood flow to the brain. The nerves are happy and allow the body to go to what we call parasympathetic nervous system, which is digestion, relaxation, healing. And that's where we want to be at least most of our day. We don't want to be, we're not going to be able to be functional and be normal, healthy human beings if we are 24 hours on sympathetic nervous system. So this is very important to me. Hits home really hard because to, to tell um, people that are using Bella Lip Appliance that the best way to do it is to move the lower jaw forward by doing that, you're engaging more of your neck muscles at the same time opening this circulation. We're moving the jaw forward and opening that roadmap. So I'm gonna just do one um, exercise so you can see what that means. 
and understand that why is it so different to do the Bella Lip Appliance versus all the other products that are out there because there's not really a medical thought behind all those movements. We're really, um, there's a lot of thought and research behind this. So here we go. So I'm doing my lip plumping, lifting cheek, lining the jaw and treating my TMJ. It's a treatment. It's not the full treatment, but it is a treatment for TMJ for patients that have headache, migraine, and they're clenching. I have learned to add the breath to this process so that it's actually meditation at the same time. You feel your lips working out, but most importantly, it really creates a relaxation to your head. You feel like, okay, I've been just given a shot of morphine. I'm calm. Imagine doing that at your workspace, workplace. You're doing all this project and all of a sudden you feel the clenching, you feel the tension, and you have one of these in your disposal. Uh, and you're going to put it in your mouth and do two, even two, the way I just did it. Opened up my jaw and relaxed my masseter. So people that clench, usually this masseter is bulked up. Um, there is other products out there that are big, big, and you put in your mouth and you're clenching on it. Those products do work out your facial muscle, but they work your masseter muscle that makes you more square. If you don't want to look more square, and you want to not create more impingement in this region, we need to do the jaw shifting. Otherwise, you're going to have jaw issues, your clicking gets worse, but if you push it forward, you will see that the disc that clicks on some patients, it tightens up and it, you will notice that you have less clicking. Now, this is coming from a diplomat in TMJ. I will not create anything that doesn't do that. So that's where I take the pride in teaching you and uh, leaving, giving you that gift of um, our consult to see what is that you want to do with your face. Is it your lips? Is it your cheekbones? And then teach you how to do it and how many times and get you started. Our team here, if we're working from my private practice to sell the Bella Lip Appliance. We're not looking into making multi-million dollar sales because we couldn't give that quality. This is my legacy to gift people that are all around the world that want to be beautiful naturally uh, without injections, without invasiveness, and yet learn how to connect with the parasympathetic nervous system, increase the blood supply in their facial structure, in their brain, back of the head, and release their neck pain, release their jaw pain, and get more beautiful. And if they're not access to somebody like me, in my private practice, when I have a patient for TMJ, fundamentally we fix their jaw sometimes, and it is pretty expensive. But people around the world don't have that access to be in a practice like me, or they can't financially afford for an $85 today, you have 30% off. You're getting me for a few minutes to be able to teach you how to do it in a way that releases your jaw, relaxes you, increases relaxation, and at the same time beautifies you. Now there is a horizontal exercise. The horizontal exercise is to lift the corner of the lips and your cheekbones. So I'm gonna do it again. Again, it's on the lips and your mouth is open and we're moving the arms together. And we don't have to do all the way. When you move the arms all the way with your corner of your lips, automatically you create lines on top lips. We're not working on the top and the lower lip. We're only lifting and feeling the corner of the lip where people get injections usually. We're feeling that area naturally by bulking the musculature in that region and lifting it up and tightening it up.
every time you take a breath in, try your best to use your nose. Again, as human be being, we have a choice choose to breathe through your nose i will tell you why it's so beneficial to breathe through your nose and release all the stress with your mouth out get the co2 carbon dioxide out get the toxin out make your system basic so that disease doesn't grow in there at the same time you're beautifying yourself this is a one minute a day procedure you don't have to spend a lot of time to get beautiful to get relaxation i would really recommend at least doing few of these motions in the morning when you wake up to get a great head start, put it by your bedside and do it before you even get up. Increase the circulation to your brain so you have a great day. Instead of checking your phone and your text, do this. And then maybe a few repetitions at night before sleep. And if you have the disposal of having one um, luxury of having one by your office or you can take it with you, um, do it when you have a stressful day like midday just two, two times. That's all it needs to be. Facial muscles are very small bands. You don't need to do hundreds of pulp plumping, just few. So here's one more. Holding that position and releasing how you breathe in and out, it depends to you. Some yoga instructor that we work with recommend breathing in when your mouth is open, breathing out when you close. I do it every time differently, so it's your choice, but the main thing is release the stress, the CO2, the negativity of your body, the disease state out and invite the relaxation to you. Let me see if I have questions. Okay, I guess that's a joke. I'm not getting that. Good, you feel calm, great. That's the idea. The idea of the whole Bella Lip Appliance is an exercising device that does isometric exercises the weight is on the band here i always recommend you holding this when you start exercising because you don't want it to move around you'll be surprised how weak our lips and our facial muscles are because we're not eating hard food like we old times and natural food like old times intended in old days we did now we're juicing we're rushing there's no self-care. There's no sitting and enjoying a wholesome meal. So you will notice that they're so weak and we rely on invasive procedures for our face, yet we work out the rest of our body. Our face is no difference. We need to work out our facial muscles. It requires a lot less work and um, connect with us. Let us train you. Let us teach you how to do it correctly so you don't experience jaw pain, so you don't have issues, send your questions to me. We're a team of seven um, female here and one male. Um, not that we chose that. We're open to all uh, walks of life here, but that's our team here. Everyone is trained to teach you how to use the Bella Lip Appliance, especially Natalie, who is usually in our Amazon Live. She's for a holiday, she's not here. She will be training you, and then I'm usually in there to say hi and just to see if you have any questions for me. Um, it is a personal mama papa business. It's made by me with my heart and my 30 years of experience to you. I hope you have a great holiday. If you have any questions, send it to me now. Otherwise, we're gonna have to go to another Amazon Live on uh, uh, some supplements that I take for my hot flashes. If you're older like me, I am 54 and I uh, experience menopause. I'm gonna talk about what I use for that. Otherwise, have a great blessed day. Take care.